So here is your question. A new Chromebook costs $369.99 and Google has decided to give us a 20% discount. What will be the cost of the Chromebook after taxes? So what should the what's the first step I can take in order to solve this? Okay, so um, basically you're supposed to do 369.99, you multiply that by 0 0.80 because um, you have a discount of 20%. Okay. So, so you're multiplying it by 0.80 because you are paying 80% of the, of the Chromebook. Yeah. Because the 20% is already discounted, that means you're paying 80. So you buy automatically skipped what the discount was. You're just looking for the price after the discount. So 369.99 times 0.80. And that gave you what? That gave me 295.99.2. Okay. So now, how many of you did it? Thank you. We'll get to the next part. How many of you how many of you figured out the discount in a different way? How did you do it, Aaliyah? So the first thing I did is I took 369.99 multiply it by 20 because that's the discount they were getting. You multiply it by 20? Yeah. Yeah, I multiply it by 20. Okay. And the total I got was 73, um, 7,399.8. Mm -hmm. And I divided that by 100. Oh, I see what you did. Okay. And it, it, it gave me a total of 73.998. So what she did was she multiplied it by 20 and then divided by 100 which is the exact same thing as our cross multiplying method. What's another way she could have multiplied this to skip the cross uh, multiplying method? Let's go, Irfan. Yeah, so 369.99 times zero decimal two zero equals... It's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Okay, thanks. And that would have also given you this answer right here, which is 73 nine nine eight okay both work okay this one here is just a, a real shortcut to get to the the price you're going to pay this right here will just give you how much discount because what are you supposed to then do with the discount what's the next step for us um, Minus 73.998. Now, I know a lot of you use a calculator. And as you can see here, we have an extra decimal point. So we just put the zero. You should find that your answer is actually the same as what Taha did. So Taha's method, for the ones who don't know, is he bypasses what the discount is and figures this out on one step. Because he knows that 20% is the discount, you are paying 80% of the price. So that's what he did in case you're wondering. So it's, a, it's just a shortcut. So now that we have the price, we can all agree that our price is $295, decimal 992. What do I need to do now? What's the next step that I need to figure out? Taha. Well, okay. Okay, so 295.992 multiplied by 0.13. What did it give you? Um, it's actually 48 because you have to do some rounding. Okay, so 48. So now that you have 38 decimal 48, what do you do now? What's the next step? I figured out how much tax I have to pay. What do I do? So let's add it to here. So I'm just going to use this here, 38.48. And what was your final cost there? Yeah. Or the final price of the Chromebook? Okay, so I got 334.47. If you're off by a penny, 48. It really depends 
how you calculate it. Yeah, okay? If we rounded this to 47. That's why. So if you're off by a penny or two, it's okay. But I can show you a method that can guarantee that you're always accurate. So that figured out the taxes. So the total cost of the Chromebook is going to be $334.47. Ilias, your hand is up. Okay, so stop right there. So you said to take the 295, 992, because that was our cost. You said to multiply it by 1.13. Why did you do that? Because it's a faster rate, and 13% uh, is also like saying 0.13. Okay. And then. Okay, so you if you keep the 1.13. So if you t even if you took your calculator right now and put 295 decimal 992 and you multiplied it by 1 decimal 13 you actually get an answer of $334.47 which is the same answer that we got here. So now you must be wondering why why 1.13 but tax is 0 0.13. Does anyone know why we multiply by 1.13? Any guesses what the one would represent in this case? For us. Yes, and in this case, what is the whole number? What is this one really representing? the original number, which is the cost of the Chromebook. So by multiplying this 2 pi or 295.992 decimal times 0 0.13, you're just finding out the tax. This is just the tax. So you know at the bottom of the receipts at Best Buy or, or no frills, wherever you go, it says tax. That's what you figured out here. What you did here, the 1.13, this includes your cost of the Chromebook in this case. So if I had to pick an easier number for you to use, let's pick 100 because $100 is easy. Just say the Chromebook costs $100. If you multiplied it by 0 0.13, what should your answer be? You don't really even need a calculator for this one. You're just rotating a couple decimals. 100 times 0 0.13. It's $13, that's how much tax you pay. But if you take 100, multiply it by 1.13, what is your answer? Froze. Right, $113, because look, if you take 1.13 and you split this up, it's one, and this is 0 0.13. So basically what you've done is 100 times one equals 100, 100 times 0 0.13, which is this guy right here, it's 13. You add them up, it's $113. So anytime you go to a store, next time you get your Best Buy flyer or your Canadian Tire flyer in the mail and you see, oh, advertised price of, I don't know, um, iPhone 6 Plus is uh, $349.99. You can automatically just take your calculator, 349.99, multiply that by 1.13, and that'll give you a funny little, looks like this, decimal 4, and it would go 9, because that 8 depends on this 8, which tells you to round up. We're not going to worry so much about rounding, because if you're going to pay this cash, the cost is going to be 395.50 anyways, because we don't have pennies, okay?